Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song for today, and it is August 8th, 2020, and uh, today's topic will be titled, Being or Doing? Question mark. So, are you a being or a doing? <laughs> Question mark. So, that will be our topic for today. And uh, before I get started, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that he's your Lord and Savior today. Amen. All right, so today's scripture song will be from Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 and 38. So let me grab the remote here and press play and sing along here with Brother Dean and Sister Patty on the CD here. All right, here we go. Matthew 22, 37 and 38. Jesus said unto him, Thou yeah. shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, yeah. and with all thy mind. This is the first there we go. and great commandment. Amen. Jesus, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, this is the first and great commandment. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. And with all thy mind, this is the first and great commandment. Amen. All right. Let me put that back to the beginning here, and we'll do that a few more times towards the end of the broadcast, along with the review scripture song. But now it's time to get into today's topic for the 8th of August, and it's titled, Being or Doing? Question mark. And our uh, passage is from John fifteen four, and it says, Abide in me, this is Jesus speaking, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. John fifteen four. And our author today is D.B., that is the initials for, let's see, D.B. would be uh, David Brown, and he is the pastor of Central Baptist Church in Decatur, Illinois, and that is a different David Brown, not the one that uh, you and I know, so that's a different David Brown, and he is the pastor of Central Baptist Church, Decatur, Illinois, well, perhaps you might know him. So, uh, let's read what he wrote today on this topic of being or doing. And he writes, The believer in Christ must first focus on the spiritual uh, healthiness of his heart. <laughs> yeah, good advice for all of us when we tend to focus more on the physical than the spiritual. And uh, so he gives us this advice that the believer in Christ must first focus on the spiritual healthiness of his heart because we're all concerned about our physical health, but not about our spiritual health and our heart, because our heart can be rotten and be doing wrong things, and we can be looking good on the outside and healthy on the outside, but rotten on the inside. So let's make sure that we get that taken care of first before we start getting concerned with the outside. Not saying that physical health isn't important, but spiritual health is, because um, you want to be a good testimony, and you want to have a good heart, and have the Holy Spirit be working in it. Amen. So, let's uh, take heed to that. All right, continuing on, he writes, To set out and serve the Savior will require several things. And he has a list here of four things. The first one is a good, steady testimony. So, not just a good testimony, but a good, steady testimony. Making sure that you're steady, not just wavering back and forth. One minute you have a good testimony, and next minute we have a bad testimony, so making sure we're having a good, steady testimony. Number two, an inner strength from the Lord. Amen. That's always good. Uh, three, Bible knowledge. Not um, having Bible knowledge, knowing the Bible, having some 
kind of knowledge of it, so you know how to answer somebody when somebody has a question for you. Um, so, and number four, daily denial and the cross. <laughs> yeah, so daily denial and the cross, denying that flesh daily. Hmm. All right, so those are the four things. And he says, these areas are what give us our being. In other words, what we are, uh, what we are dictates what we do on the outside. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so what we are inside dictates what we do on the outside. Service to Christ is the doing, the walking, the Spirit's filling is the being. Being, therefore, is more important than the doing. Hmm. So, uh, that's good. But we should always still continue to be doing God's work. But, of course, we have to have our uh, heart match our walk. Our walk and our talk be the same. Amen. However, he says, once the being has uh, brought the Christian to a certain level of spirituality, the doing becomes desirable. Yes, so that's good. Uh, the doing becomes desirable. So once we get the inside right, then we'll have that desire to do things for the Lord. Read our Bible, pray, go out and witness, tell people about Jesus, amen, stuff like that. Uh, continuing on, if that doing is not done, then dissatisfaction sets in. <clears throat> One feels unfulfilled. The want, the want to... He says, the want to, uh, has become a need to. <laughs> uh, if this doing does not occur, frustration and stagnation can set in. The Christian may even fill this feeling of unrest with an activity that is not even church-connected in order to satisfy their inner readiness to serve Christ. Hmm. Often, often, Christians don't even realize this replacement effort is really a spiritual need to do something for Christ. Everything God has made is to grow. Yeah, so we're made to grow, not just to stay where we're at, but he wants us to continually grow in our walk with the Lord, our spiritual walk, amen, and our spiritual growth. So everything God has made is to grow. When it has grown to a mature stage, it is ready and desirous to bear fruit. To deny this natural progression is to interrupt the very will of God! <laughs> Exclamation point. So, amen. So again, let's uh, take heed of these things. Number one, having a good, steady testimony. Two, an inner strength from the Lord. Three, Bible knowledge. And four, daily denial and the cross. Amen. So let's take key to that. And that is the end of our topic, uh, Bible or uh, Baptist uh, bread devotional topic. Amen. So uh, take key to that and let's learn to be uh, better on the inside. All right. So now we're going to go to Philippians chapter 2. And we started in Philippians yesterday and read chapter 1, so if you have your Bible handy, you can turn along with me, and we'll start in chapter 2 this morning, and it says here in verse 1, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind, right? So, as believers, we're to uh, be of one accord and of one mind, letting or let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in the lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being, formed, or being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, 
and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So one day every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, whether you do it willingly or forcefully, or forcibly by the Lord. So, uh, it's better to do it willingly, amen, than to be forced to do it when uh, you stand at the judgment, uh, um, the great white throne judgment, and uh, God is judging you. Hmm. Uh, so, call on Jesus to save your soul today, so you don't have to go through that. All right, so verse 12 says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That means that uh, we have salvation, so we should let it go forth and tell other people about Jesus and let it shine through and not keep it inside, but let it go forth and work it out, work it out of yourself, you know, like you're working out, so work work out uh, spiritually, amen, work it out uh, and let it come forth, don't keep it inside, that's what it's talking about there, amen. Alright, so verse 13 says, For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Uh, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, with uh, out rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered uh, upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. Amen. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timotheus shortly unto you, that I also may be a of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. But ye know the proof of him that as a son with the Father he hath served with me in the gospel. Him, therefore, I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I supposed it necessary to send to you uh, Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger, and he that ministered to my wants. Uh, for he longed after you all and was full of heaviness, because that ye had heard that he had been sick. For in, indeed he was sick nigh unto death, but God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I sent him therefore the more carefully that when ye see him again, ye, sh ye may rejoice, and that I may uh, be the less sorrowful. Amen. Receive him, therefore, in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such in reputation, because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life, to supply your lack of service toward me. Paul says, and that is the end of Philippians chapter 2. Amen. So let me go ahead and grab the scripture song book and we will sing today's scripture song again and then we'll do a review from yesterday which was um, Isaiah 6 8 so we'll go ahead and do today's and then yesterday's and then today's one more time amen let me press play here Matthew 22 right. 37 and 38 
Jesus said unto him, Thou yeah. shalt love the Lord thy God right. with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great command. Amen. All right, here we go. Jesus Let's said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Amen. All right, let's go back to yesterday's. Isaiah 6, 8. Also, I heard, heard the, the voice Lord of the Lord saying, saying Whom shall, shall I send, and who will go, go for us? Then said I, I Here am I, send me. Amen. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And said I, said I, here am I, send me. Then said I, here am I, send me, send me. And me. Amen. All right. So we'll do today's one more time. Matthew 22, 22 37, and 38. 38. Amen. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God all right. with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. <laughs> this Amen. is the first and great. Here we go. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, well, that'll about wrap it up for today. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then topic for tomorrow's uh, devotional. So for tomorrow the 9th, we'll be uh, singing 1 Timothy 4.12. And it says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Amen. So that will be tomorrow's scripture song. And the topic for tomorrow will be titled, get there, so titled, um, His Ship Came In, But It Sank. Oh, huh. His Ship Came In, But It Sank. And our passage is Acts 2741b. And uh, this was uh, the account with Paul being on the ship. And uh, sailing the sea, and then it's a uh, uh, wrecking, and then I'm all having to jump off the ship and head to shore. So that will be tomorrow's topic. Uh, but before I go, let me go ahead and give you these four things. Um, again, that a believer in Christ must first focus on the spiritual healthiness of his heart. So that's the first thing we're to do. 
and he's to set out and serve the Savior uh, will require several things. And so these four things that he lists is a good, steady testimony and inner strength from the Lord, Bible knowledge and daily denial and the cross. So those are the four things. And if you would like to uh, go back to the beginning to hear that entire devotional, it's pretty good. So let's make sure we're uh, being healthy on the inside in our heart and not just on the outside and um, try to focus on that more. Amen. And pray for each other that we would be more healthy in our hearts and and not have a bad heart and let the Holy Spirit work on our hearts and our minds and our um, amen, our souls. Amen. So praise the Lord for that. All right. And if you'd like to uh, go ahead and look up those scripture songs, they're at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And Brother Dean and Sister Patty have put these CDs together for each month. And I believe they're in the process of working on year two. They have all the scripture songs already, I believe. They just need to put them together on a, on the CDs and get them going here. And so pray for that and pray for Brother Dean as he is preparing for surgery. Just waiting for the doctors to tell him when he can come in. And hope that goes well. And pray that they be able to get back over to Guyana and everything will open back up. And pray for all missionaries trying to get back on the field. Amen. And um, so keep those uh, in your prayer. And um, until then... May the Lord richly bless you, and we'll be back later, Lord willing, for the daily Bible reading uh, as we continue through the book of Isaiah. And I believe we'll be uh, reading uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 50 through 54. So that'll be t uh, later today, so I hope you'll come back for that. All right, in the meantime, I'll be uh, saying goodbye for now. So uh, again, may the Lord richly bless you, and have a great and wonderful rest of your Saturday. And... Um, See you all next time. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.